Forgettable Bean School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Hensel Co-op. Welcome to this episode of the Edible Bean School here on Real Agriculture. I'm Kelvin Hepner, and there are, of course, many different approaches and strategies when it comes to harvesting edible beans, everything from a, a fairly typical field combine used for other crops, modified combines, to self-propelled edible bean specialized combines. This technology behind us, though, is new to Canada, and joining us to uh, discuss this self-propelled bean combine, we're pleased to welcome Frank Unger of Gen A. And Frank, why don't you tell us a bit about this Colombo machine behind us? The history of them is it goes back even into the picket, into the picket uh, era where they built the, the thrashing box for them. They've come to the market with their with the North American unit, and we had their pull types here. Now, this is the first uh, first self propelled in, in Canada, uh, for sure in Manitoba, and uh, so it's. Uh, it's it's a pretty big machine. It's 410 horse John Deere engine powering it, a, a, a nine liter. Um, it's fully hydraulic from front to front to back. The cab is a Claus cab, and the transmission is a Claus transmission. And uh, so it, it right from the pickup to the auger to the feeder house, the the guts of the combine right through the back to the chopper is all hydraulically driven. Hydraulically driven and, of course, from the ground up, designed for edible beans, unlike That's many correct. of the other machines that are used out there. It's it's a uh, it's a rotor system with uh, auger pins in it, and it and you can adjust the pins for aggressiveness. So if your if your beans are probably a little tough and there's a lot of green pods, you can adjust the pins and run the thrasher so it runs those out the back. And, and saves the, the good beans. Okay. Ultimately, it is all about saving those good beans and maximizing the quality, minimizing the amount of splits and, and cracked seed, seed coats and all of that. That's correct. It uh, basically works down to re, uh, uh, re, return on investment. So if, if you have a machine that specializes in beans, you know the wear items can be replaced easily. If you put your expensive field combine in there, it's more expensive to repair. So that's one part of the return on investment. The other part is the saving on, on quality. Uh, just yesterday, we this machine was uh, less than 1% dockage, which the buyer said he really haven't seen very often. And uh, so that's... Uh, you know, saving if you're instead of 10% dockage, you're 8, 1% at whatever the market price is today is, is pretty big. Mm -hmm. So, Frank, how would this combine compare with a conventional combine setup in terms of, we can see right from the front, the, the header design is, is it's specialized for edible beans internally, like you said. Uh, obviously, the unload, there's a conveyor here on the side for gentle handling of the beans as well. Yes, anytime you have uh, bean on bean or, or iron on iron, uh, movement you'll have damage so that's why they went to a conveyor uh it's it's you know an auger will will scratch them up or you get that coating uh damage or a cracked bean which is not really a sellable bean mm -hmm. so what do you see in terms of potential for a machine like this in in a in a canadian edible bean market well there's uh it's crazy to say it but this combine also will combine corn we can put some different guts inside, grass bars, and then run it run it as a as a corn combine. Um, we hope to uh, actually hook a, a flex gripper to it, and maybe we can do soybeans. And you know, it's endless. Okay, it's also used for peanut. This type of combine is also used for peanuts in the southern U.S. Southern U.S. and and South America, they they use a lot of that for for their beans. If you go to their website, you can see that on their beans. But the peanuts is the big market there. Yeah. All right. Thanks for taking the time to show us one of the latest innovations here in edible bean harvest, Frank. Thank you. Thank you for asking.